Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can create a transparent registration form in HTML using CSS. So first of all, uh, here you can see this is a basic HTML structure and inside the body let's go and design a form. So for designing a form we need to write our here form and then inside this form we are going to have a div then inside this div we will have a level and let's say in the registration form we will have name email phone number and password so let's say our here name and for name we need to have a input field and input type will be text for name okay let me just save it and if i just refresh over here here you can see name and the input field so let me just copy this and i'll paste it three times one two and three so this one will be for email after name we'll have email then here we'll say phone number let's say here phone uh, number and here we'll say password and right now we also require to have a submit button so here we're going to say uh, submit button doesn't have a name so here input type will be submit and here for email the type will be email and for phone the type will be number and here password for password type will be password so let's save it and kindly if we refresh now here you can see we have name email phone number password and the submit button so let's go and first let's set up the background image first so for it we will go to our head section and inside this head section we are going to write the style tag and inside the style we are going to say over here body then to second bracket and here we are going to set the background image so we'll say here background image it will be url to first bracket to single quotation and here we have a image a uh, tree image which is this one you can see this is the image we are going to set as background so here we'll say tree dot jpg so right now if we save it then if we refresh here you can see we have the image but the image doesn't look proper so we need to make some changes over here so here we will say background attachment it will be fixed and we will say here background repeat it will be no repeat if we now save it then if we now refresh you can see there is no changes so what we are going to do right now is that we will say here background background size it will be 100 percent width and 100 percent height save it then refresh and there you can see right now we can see the full image so right now what we want is that we want this form in in the center over here so for it what we are going to do is that we are going to keep this form inside a div so here before this form we will mention a div a div will start before this form and the div will end after the form so here we are going to give a class name for this div let's say the class name will be form center let's say then uh, let me just copy this form center control c and right now we'll go inside the style and we write some css for this div so here since this is a class so we'll we need to give a dot then the class name which is form center then to second bracket so inside the form center we are going to say here position it will be absolute then we'll say here top it will be 50 percent and left it will be 50 percent if we now save it and if we refresh here here you can see our form is over here not totally in the center so for it we'll write one more line here we are going to say transform then we'll say here translate minus 50 percent comma minus 50 percent save then refresh and then you can see it is in the center now let's go and add a background color form for this form so here what we'll do is that we'll say over here background color it will be hash six eight on two three four five six this is the color that i choose so if we save it now then if we refresh here you can see there is a background color so right now uh, we are going to see over here with it will be 50 percent 
save then refresh and then you can see so right now let's go and add some padding at the top and at the bottom so here we are going to say uh padding padding top let's say 20 pa and we'll say padding bottom it will be 70 pa save then let's refresh and there you can see there is some gap at the top and at the bottom so here you can see that we cannot see the background in image because of this color background color so we are going to say over here we'll say here opacity it will be 0 0.8 save then let's refresh and there you can see we can see the background right now so here you can see that uh, the input field is on the left side so we want them to be in the center so for it let's go and write some css so for it here you can see we have the label so inside this level we are going to mention a class let's say the class name will be let's just go it input level let's save it and uh, right now we are going to write some css for this input level so let me just copy it and here inside the style uh, for the class we will give a dot then input level then to second bracket so here i am going to say display it will be inline block and then we will say here with it will be 20 percent then we will say text align it will be right side so right now if we save it then if we refresh here you can see it moved a little bit over here so right now let's go and uh, over here let me just copy this uh, class input level and i'll paste it for every other level for email phone number and password so we'll see our here class input level here as well then for password and okay that's fine save it then refresh there you can see it moved a little bit let's make it instead of 20 percent let's make it 25 percent then refresh okay now let's go and add some padding for the level and also let's also increase their font size as well so for it we are going to say over here uh, let's say padding it will be uh, 15 px then we are going to say font size uh, font size will be let's say 15 px as well and let's also make it bolder so we'll say over here font with it will be bold let's only say bold save then refresh okay so right now it looks a little bit better so right now let's go and make some design for the input field so for it let's go back to our code and here you can see that uh, the input type over here text the input type email input type number and input type password so for all four of them we are going to write the css and we can do it really easily here we'll just write over here inside the style we'll say over here input then we'll give to third bracket then here we'll say type equal to text then if we just give to second bracket and if we say over here with 40 percent if we save it now here you can see that we write only for input type text which is only for the name so right now if we save it then if we refresh here you can see its length increased so right now let's make it a little bit round and let's also add some padding so here we are going to say border radius it will be 6px and let's say here padding it will be 8px save then let's refresh that you can see it got bigger so right now let's go and do the same for the email phone number and password and we can do it really easily all we have to do is that we need to give a comma over here and then again we are just going to say over here type instead of text we are going to say over here first email and after it we are going to say over here uh, number number and then we have the password so we we'll say over here password save then let's refresh and there you can see so right now let's go and have the submit button in the center so for it let's go back to our code and we we'll directly go to our submit button and here we're going to mention a class name let's say the class name will be sub minus btn then let me just copy this Control c and we'll go to our style part and here we'll give a dot then submit button and here 
we are going to say uh, let's say background color for the pattern will be uh, sky blue then we will say padding it will be 15 px so right now if we save it then refresh here here you can see it looks like this so right now let's add border radius uh, let's make it 8 px save so it will make it a rounder a little bit refresh there you can see it looks a little bit round so right now let's uh, have our button in the center so for it we'll see over here margin uh, left it will be 50 percent uh, not 50 percent let's make it 40 percent save it then refresh okay now let's add some gap at the top so here we'll say margin uh, margin top it will be 20 px not percent 20 px save refresh okay so right now let's go and add a text at the top that this is a registration form so for it uh, here uh, inside this div class we are going to mention uh, h on tag and inside it we'll say registration form so right now if we save it and if we refresh here here we can see the registration form over here so right now we'll write some css for this registration form so here inside this h on tag we are going to say over here class we'll say form minus title so let's go at the top and write some css for this form title so here inside the style we'll give dot then we'll say form title then to second bracket so right now first let's change the background color for this title let's make it black and this text color will be white let's say so here we are going to say background color it will be black if we now save it then refresh here you can see the background color is color is black so right now let's uh, make the text color white so here we are going to say color it will be white save then refresh there you can see uh, we can see the text right now so now let's make it in the center so here we'll say text align it will be center save then refresh so right now let's go and make some gap uh, between the registration form and the name so here for it we'll say over here margin uh, bottom let's say over here 40 px save it then let's refresh okay there is some gap right now so right now let's go and remove this color after this black color i mean after the registration form over here you can see so for it uh, what we need to do is that uh, we need to uh, inside the form title we'll show our hair uh, margin we'll show our hair zero auto if we save it now then if we refresh okay it look like this okay let's do one more thing that is let's say over here margin zero auto before this margin bottom save then let's refresh okay okay now let's go and uh, let's go to our uh, form center and over here we write over here padding top 20 px right so let's just remove it and save it then refresh and then you can see so right now it looks perfect and let's check the responsiveness if we just right click over here then click inspect and if we just make it smaller here you can see it's quite responsive so because we mostly we use percentage uh, instead of actual like 100 px 200 px so we just use percentage that's why it's quite responsive so yeah, this is how you can make a transparent registration form in HTML using CSS. I try to make this tutorial as easy as possible. I hope you will like this tutorial and uh, if this tutorial was useful to you, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I will actually really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next tutorial.